You know, I, f I feel like Thanos. Possible. I, s I did the snap. I collected these stones. I collected the Black Santa stone, the Drew Lama stone, the Abuse Pig stone, the James Robinson stone, the Urban Meyer stone, and the Venus Sky stone. <laughs> No, but actually, boys, I, I couldn't be more proud of the way things turned out. It really felt like everything came together to make that the Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl special. Yeah, I can kind of determine the schedule myself, but that AFC championship where I was 100% going to lose to that guy, he desynced. It's literally like a divine intervention. Like somebody came in and was like, no, Papa Meeks needs to get to the Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl, so this guy's going to lose the game. So I welcome you to a brand new fully wiped season. And as you can see here, we are a 69 overall with a 67 offense and a 71 overall defense. There is so much to do in today's episode. Like before we even hop into the game, we have so much to do. We have a prestige player who I have not revealed yet. We have an upgrade to a current prestige player. I'm a prophet. And we have three Christmas presents and one ghost of a Madden player to open. Now two things happened in the Super Bowl. One, I completed my challenge, which allowed me after the reset to open any pack in the store. And that pack, of course, is going to be a Ghost of Madden player. Additionally, I opened three presents. Those presents ended up being a lovely large, a lavish large, and a large present. If you did not see my giant Christmas pack opening, check it out as a banger. But we know that the lovely large includes two things. One is an ultimate kickoff 91 plus, and two is a Mutt Guardian. There's Fred Warner. We've seen him on the team before. Aaron Rodgers, Jay Jalen Ramsey and Christian McCaffrey. As their ultimate kickoff, we could get fucked because there's a Sean Taylor. Before I show you prestigious or anything, I think it's the best idea that we open these presents because it'll also determine who I'm gonna need in my wheel spin. So let's see who it is, our ultimate kickoff player. Yes! Basically a one in three chance. That was Sean Taylor. We did not hit the 33. I don't really know what would be the best out of the remaining, but let's just make sure it's not Ramsey. I kind of feel like I have to take Rogers, but what if I pull, oh my God, a galaxy brain. I don't have to decide that yet because it's a fantasy pack. I can open these two first. The lavish large is a guaranteed team of the week, 91 plus, And the large pleasant is just a 90 plus elite player. So if there's a quarterback or wide receiver in either of these, it'll make my decision for me. I like that idea. Come on team of the week. Close Jump, baby! It's for No, I'm not using him again. No shot. Never again. Get quick. No, fuck you. Uh-uh. I'd rather take Aaron Rodgers. Our large president is a veteran player. My presence literally just fucking rebuilt my team. I am quick selling both of them and I'm gonna use that training in the store. That is so depressing. All right, that was 14,000 training from quick selling them. We will go use that in the store right now. I was so hyped to get the presents and I just got clapped. I didn't get clapped on the first one. Aaron Rodgers is gonna be really good. Let's just get one rising star player, 91 plus rising star. I would take Odafe away. That would be so sick actually if I got him. Hey, hey, AJ Terrell, 92 overall corner. Now that's what I'm talking about. I do still have enough training for two bonos rerolls. See if we get a 94 here. Although the 85 will actually help my team, so. 180 berry. Get pack a bunch of that. All right, so I got 85 berry and my second 85 plus bonos reroll. Also an 85. It's a weird day today. Dude, there's like so many things in this. I'm gonna open a third one just for shits and gigs. There's so many players in this. How did I get Barry again? Yeah, see, there's Lynn Swan. Okay. I think I gotta take Aaron Rodgers here. Having a 92 quarterback going into this first game is gonna be important. Dashing Deadeye and Identifier on Aaron Rodgers. I'm cool with that. If you take a look at the screen, you'll notice that offense doesn't look any different. That means that my prestige player was not on on offense. Can you guess who my defensive prestige player was? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. My prestige was Isaiah Simmons. He's a 96 overall strong safety. He is incredible. He's so big. He's 6'4". 95 speed, 95 excel. He's also an incredible sub linebacker. So he might not always be up at strong safety. He will be insanely good though. Now, I literally had, like before the Isaiah Simmons come out, in my head, I had prestiged Montez Sweat. I had given him the power up already. I threw him in my team. I was getting ready to tell you guys about it. My thought process is, is this Montez Sweat will get outdated before Isaiah Simmons does. And before you start screaming in circles, I just want to let you know, I do know, baby. The prophecy has come true once again. All it takes is a little bit of patience. Every time I prestige a player, I always say, I know that this player is getting another card. They just will. So Sean Taylor gets a 95 overall free save. 
safety card. The Sean Taylor that I had, the 91 without his power up, was a god. I think he might have had more interceptions than anybody not named Devin White. Literally, we're adding like plus four speed, plus five now with the power up to my already insane Sean Taylor. I cannot wait. Ugh, that's so hard. He looks like such a savage. All right. Tighter coverage, more interceptions on contested catches. And then I think I'm literally probably just going to go acrobat. Yeah, three AP for Lurker, ain't it? Enforcer and Deflator got nerfed to hell. I still love it on Devin White, dude, but it's just not the same as it was at the start of this year. Oh, and I forgot about this, bro. You spent 15,000 training. Takes him up to a 97, so he's actually even better than what I thought. 97 Isaiah Simmons. 96 speed, agility, excel. 88 tackling. 97 jumping. 97, man. 96 zone. That is a clamp. Oh my god, that's clamps, bro. So, there's two amazing packs that I could get right now. One is a 93 overall zero chill hero, and I don't want that. I want the big gamble, which is the 92 plus overall ghost of Madden player. This is one of two things. It's either a 92 overall ghost of Madden future. I would not be that excited about that. That would be kind of a bummer, but it could be a 94, 95, or a 96 limited. Either way, it's going to be amazing. I would take a 92, obviously, but I want at least a 94. Let's see what we can get. We got what? Dude, fuck me. Ah! Ooga, ooga, booga. Madden. My actual one pack. I need that pack animation. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What do we got? It's opening right now. Our 92 plus is 95. Oh my God, I can't even fucking use this. I just bombed a 95 and I can't even... Where, where are you going on my team? I guess I can put him at safety and sub him in at linebacker, like a true sub linebacker. But I don't want to have to do that every game. You know my dumb ass is going to forget. He has this ability called Crusher and Demoralizer. What the fuck? I have never seen these. Crusher's heavy ball carrier fatigue on hit stick tackles. Okay, so explain to me how that is different than Deflator. He becomes my number one sub linebacker. Holy shit, he's a 98 overall as a sub linebacker. Where I'll put him on the team is I'll put him at corner. His man coverage is 95. His zone coverage is 95. All right, boys, let's hop in. And yes, let's, look, I know Christmas is over, but I love the tree so much. I'm leaving it up and probably Black Santa too. I might take Black Santa now, but ah, our first wheel spin. Oh my God. Dude, you guys love this shit and I'm so glad you did. Next gen power up is exactly what James Robinson was last season. We can get one power up player and for every touchdown that we get with them, they can go up one overall on their power up. And I literally already know in my head exactly who I want because he has the most cracked wide receiver card in the game, Devontae Adams. I don't have to think about this. Route runner, 95 speed, 95 jump, 96 catch. 96 catch traffic, 6'1", 215, he's a stud. This is our next gen power up. Oh my God, that's insane. I'm so glad we got it at the start of the season. Oh fuck, I have to win today's episode to keep him. My team's a 74 overall. 10 touchdowns. We have a 97 overall Devontae Adams who actually will have at the time 96 speed. So remember where we started boys because at one point in time he will be there. But right now we're starting right here. All right, boys, that leads us to our next wheel spin. We've got him, Devontae Adams. Doesn't have the team right now, but hopefully we can get him some touchdowns in our second wheel spin. It's a 95 jackpot. All right. A card that I want so bad, so bad is Micah Parsons. Holy shit. If I get a jackpot, I'm getting Micah Parsons. The problem is Micah Parsons is a 96 overall. I think I want to try a totally different halfback. And a halfback that I want to try is one that can get backfield master and jukebox. Isn't there a really good Jonathan Taylor? Wait a second. I'm going to buy Jonathan Taylor. Taylor. I'm putting abilities on him. I'll be right back. Everything that I envisioned in my mind happens to be in the best halfback in football. Jonathan Taylor. I was kind of scared he might even be a power back. Because I know he's a strong dude, but luckily he's an elusive back. He gets backfield master and jukebox. He has 94 agility, 94 speed. This should play distinctly different to James Robinson. Like totally different cards. That's what I'm hoping. Obviously the team is good regardless of if we win or not. But if I win here, I keep Jonathan Taylor and power up Devontae Adams. This is massive. Let's go play a perfect game of football. Get a dub and lock in Jonathan Taylor Devontae Adams. Zero and zero clean slate. Brand new season. Low key boys. I do want to say there's a chance that this is my last season of Wheel of Mutt for this year. Usually I go pretty deep in the season, but kind of want to start Wheel of 2K earlier. I don't want to drown people with Wheel of Mutt. It needs to be special and unique. I'm thinking about it. All, all my point is, is enjoy these bangers while they last because football season is getting there boys. We're almost as super 
Super Bowl. All right, boys, that leaves a challenge reel before we hop into this first game of the brand new season, zero and zero clean slate. Our question is, our question, does she have a stroke? Our challenge reel, we have never gotten this one. This is a brand new one. One of our players needs 150 yards, scrimmage yards, so this could be rushing and receiving. However, they cannot score a touchdown. All right, let's get it, baby. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Ooh, we almost just started it out like that. Dude, there's some 99 sweaty God Squad teams in here right now. I'm glad it's not one of those. Dude, what are you doing? I think this is levels, so he's gonna have a corner route. Can I get to it? Can I get to it? Can I get to it? Oh, I didn't expect that. That was a 45-yard dot on fourth and seven. Hey, he was rewarded for having big balls. This is inside zone. Oh, it's not. It's a screen. Oh, no, I know this play. Hendrix! Hendrix! Fucking lost him! Let's go, big baller! Pitch that shit back and don't toss me a block! I knew this Hendrix is gonna be a savage. You know, I said I was gonna do this with Jonathan Taylor, but if Metcalf has his man here... Oh. Wow. I feel like we could easily do it with Darren Waller. Darren Waller is such a freak. Let's see what uh, formation this is. I'm going Waller again. We're gonna try for the 150 with Darren Waller. Ooh, did he have that beat? Ooh! Uh oh, second and 10. It's probably gonna go for, what the fuck are you guarding? Yup, gonna get around him. Daryl Waller. Oh, I can't score a touchdown. I can't score a touchdown. I don't know what he's at, but we need 150 no touchdowns, Darren Waller. It's kind of just depressing that we can't score any touchdowns with him, but Jonathan Taylor, three or four yards on his first ever rush, not bad. I think this could be a very easy Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Where's uh, Devonta Adams? Oh, Metcalf is just... What the fuck? <gasps> I got bailed. I got completely bailed. What the fuck was that route? Bro, he was flying down the sideline and just dead stop. All right, let's go Metcalf on an out route. Let him get a little redemption here. Oh, hard cut. Fucking toasted him. AJ Green's calling me. Yo, What's good, bro? Right now? No, no, no. It's fine. What's good? Um, my, my boy, my boy Zach I got me hooked up. What's, What's good, bro? Stuff? Looks What's good. Up, and then boom, on the left you see 4K capture, and on the right you'll see game capture. Banana! Game capture is the one you want. Sorry to be in a rush. I'm in the middle of a video right now, but did I fucking did I clamp him while I was on the phone? Hendrix, who is that? That's who. <gasps> what the fuck? Who has their X Factor lit up? Is that Hendrix? What happened while I was gone? Hendrix has his X Factor going. He's about to rage quit, and I was on fucking Facetime. Yes. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor locked in. Oh, we don't complete our challenge, but obviously we're gonna get a rage quit wheel because of that. First things first. Rage quit wheel, what do you got, baby? What do you got? The sauce for the rage quit wheel is two times training store packs. All right, two, we're gonna probably do two rising stars unless of course I get Odafe OA right here. What is me, that? I suck my dick. Oh, I don't care who it was, I'm not taking it. Piss me off, Kadarius Tony. That's kind of sick though, I will take Kadarius Tony. Oh, if I owe it, come on baby, if I pull them on that first one, I'm gonna throw fucking fit. What's our second one it's gonna be? Grady Williams. My secondary is fucking cracked already, dude. I'll also make him corner four. Wow, I'm already so deep in the depth chart of corners. That is amazing. He's got 92 speed too, so stud. All right, so we also have one wheel spin. This wheel spin right here. This is what's on the line for today's episode. Everything else, is locked in, I guess, for this next game. Let's see what we can get here. Trio packs jackpot. Oh, to fail away. So it is a jackpot out of the Rising Stars, Heavyweights, and Flashback promos. So I could take any player in the store, but they have to be one of those wild card promos, I guess. And this is a fast, power rushing, aggressive linebacker. 91 block shit, 92 power moves, 91 speed. Really, really good. So this next game is actually now significantly more important than I expected it to be. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. That's the Micah Parsons I want, by the way. Oh, track his ass down, Simmons. Go fucking get him. I went like two months without getting kicker turned on. And in the last two games, I've gotten... Well, last three games, I've got kicker turned on twice now. Mine. Get fucking lurked. Oh, let me toss this. Uh, who wants to tell me where Jonathan Taylor's X-Factors went? Is it because I subbed him in at third down running back? It took him off? What fucking clown put that in the game? Darren Waller's wide open. Stop and go. No fucking way you're gonna let me sauce you like this. Well, listen, I can't score with Darren Waller anyway. But well, that's a clean 62 yards. Looks like Darren Waller is going to do it again. Look at this fucking man, dude. See if there's any way I can get Devontae Adams open. Devontae Adams! Got him! Let's go! Devontae Adams gets his first upgrade of the season. I am in the end zone. Also in the lead. He went for two and did not get it. Play over the top just in case he's trying to deep bomb early. The zig route's open. The dig route's open. He's gonna get sacked. 
No! What? Depression! There was not only a pick six, but a sack. That is not open. That is not open. That is open. Big hit! I know that doesn't say Sanders on the back of his jersey because there's no way he just fucking trucked me. He's going for the zig route right here. Oh, I fucking did it. Get there! Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Third and two. That is a sketchy ball. Halfback is wide the fuck open. Throw back across. Throw back across! Let's go! Ramsey's got it! We're running! Oh, there was a universe where I returned that. But he, that's a huge stop nonetheless. I get ball at half. We're up by one. Cowboys theme team is crumbling. <laughs> I don't even have a chance to complete my challenge wheel twice. That might be the luckiest start to a wheel amount ever. We're starting the season 2-0. and When's the last time I did a back-to-back -back in one episode? I, I think it's literally been a, like since Madden 21. I don't think I've ever done that this year. What's our spin? Three times the best exchange set. Wow. All right, this this can be a total whiff though. No lie. So he's going to give us 189 to 90 overall player each time. Obviously, could be something that we need. Let's see what promo comes up first. I'm kind of looking for like heavyweights, bro. Legend. That's what I mean. That's not going to help me at all. First one, an Absolute L, Jim Kelly. Just not Legends promo. I don't want a legend. Veteran? Fight. That is just a slap in the fucking face. All right, our final one. Oh my God, don't you clap me with three quarterbacks. Oh, no shot. How does that even happen? Like how? What are the odds? Uh, I can't say a 90 overall Walter Payton is a bad option, but wow, that was unlucky. Either way, we got so lucky with everything else. Both the guys we matched up against, that was incredible luck because they suck. Like suck. Devontae Adams gets one upgrade. So we're moving along nicely. Let's go, Devontae Adams. He's got 79 speed now. All right, boys. Clutch, I love you. Thank you for watching as always. I will see you in the next episode. What a spectacular start to the season. Peace out.